after a whole lot of fun with the dual purpose bike, we're back on this project, 93 uh, Mustang. So we're, we're doing that harness hoop and the rear seat delete. And uh, I got the I got the hoop painted, and we're gonna we're gonna do an install. So here we go. Here's what we got to work with before the uh, roll cage goes in. Got to get rid of that bar, the seat belts for the rear. Bunch of craps in the way. It's really tight in here, but I wanted to get a shot before uh, before I started fitting that thing. Got the hoop all painted up, dried for a couple days. As you can see, I didn't finish painting the base plate because we're going to weld that. Everything should fit real good. Now we just got to get it in here and do some fitting. Not too bad. What we're doing now is we're going to fit the uh, the braces that, that go from that gusset to the fender well. We'll see how well they fit. Man, there's a big wad of seam sealer right here in the corner. That's like, that's almost like an inch thick on both sides. It's got that. That's got to be carved out of there. Now they got all that freaking seam sealer dug out of the corners. That corner. And that corner was loaded with it. So now we got this thing to fit somewhat where it should be. And then I gotta mark where this sits on the fender well and get rid of this stuff here because he really wants this to be welded into place, which means I gotta prep this joint and get rid of that bolt once it's all in place. And I'm gonna finish weld this rather than have some bolt hold it together. Now back here where the supports go, right on the fender well, there's another big wad of I don't know what that is it might be a sound deadening Ford sound deadening so over here you can see I removed a big section of it and that's where the brace gets welded what this stuff is it sucks and then right where it gets cold where I didn't heat it got to break it off heat it some more that's it it's all prepped as you can see all the crap out of the way Got all this ready to weld. Got this all prepped. Got the legs here all prepped. All this gets welded. The bolt is just for alignment and then once it's in place, these get welded. Now that I got both supports welded, at least on one side of the hoop, I gotta unbolt it from the floor so we can so we can lean the hoop against the seats 
and I can finish well the other side. Then we got to lay it back. That that right there has to be finish welded. And then we're going to then we're going to send it home on the floor also. So here's the rear support, fully welded all the way around, and that's where the bolt hole was. And what I did is I backed the bolt out until the front edge was flush, and then I cut the bolt off. So the bolt is actually still in there, and I just plug welded both ends. Fastest, bestest way around that. Now I'll just dress that down, and I'm going to paint it while it's in this forward position, at least this area. Because once I slide this back up inside the car, it'll be real hard to do. But the way it's sitting right now, it's a piece of cake. And now you have it all welded up, all painted up. I'm gonna let that dry. And tomorrow we're gonna stand this thing up and weld it to the car. All right, we got both supports welded in. Pretty difficult welding in a tight spot like this. So we're gonna squirt some paint on there and get started on the seat delete and fitting those side panels and seat belts back in. There we have it. Just gotta button up a few things. Got the side panels back in. Got the factory seat belts back in. We're gonna rock them for now. If anybody's doing this job, you gotta notch the, um, the panels just a tad right there for the uh, roll bar. But, uh, that's it, man. Came out good. Now, here we are at the rear seat delete. And it's basically three pieces of carpet covered plywood. And it comes with verbal instructions and absolutely no pictures, which is retarded because it, it's basically talking in circles. So you're kind of on your own when you get one of these. Just make it happen. It seems to be cut pretty good and you see where those two pieces are exposed they give you carpet to carpet that first so that has to be carefully carpeted and I'm gonna glue it down this is what they want you to do for the front edge okay so that faces inside the interior this is the underside so basically you have this much and this much words in order to describe to do that don't you think just one picture of that would have been better than all this I mean look at this it's ridiculous <laughs> you know here it is all right so there's those pieces uh, glued into place I used spray adhesive both corners you got to drill a hole or cut a hole in the center of the carpet and it's just to uh, cover the fender well, which is exposed, if it wasn't for that carpet. And uh, it looks pretty good. And here's the rear seat delete all screwed together. You can see how it, you can see how it looks. It's just hinged. I'm assuming you fold it up to stick it in there. And everything's pretty self-explanatory. I left a little reveal along the front edge here. And the length of the top actually matches the length of this. And you keep it just above the hump. If anybody's doing this, this video will help them out big time. Here she is all buttoned up. Got the rear seat delete. Crossbars in. Everything's nice. So if anybody's doing this job, just measure twice, cut once, and you'll be all right.